uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans. If you are, things, if you are, where, if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushka. Today, you're going to talk about, today we're going to talk about the Scar L, most notably the Scar L versus the M416. The differences between the two weapons, and the reason I'm making this video and focusing on the Scar L is I've had a lot of people talk to me since the patch, update 1.4, saying the scar L is better now. It's playing better. I'm playing better with it. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about something called recency bias as well. Uh, and I'm also going to talk about a new manner of getting recall numbers and things like that because it's really important. Um, let's, let's do that first. The old method was like this when I compared grips. You'd take five sprays, you'd put them together, you'd overlay them, you'd do the graphic editing, and then you would talk about the characteristics. It wasn't perfect, but it gave you a very good idea. The new way is, and I'll leave a, a link to Catfish, who came up with this, he's in the description below, uh, his channel, is you take a spray pattern and you get an X and Y coordinate from each dot on the spray pattern. And then you put those into a spreadsheet, right? And that gives you 29 individual data points for each weapon of just one spray. And it's a great idea and it works a treat. Um, and then I want to thank Lames too, one of the patrons who came up with the uh, spreadsheet for me because I'm hopeless at Excel. The upshot is that it gives you an average variance, say, uh, horizontally and an average variance vertically. Now, let me cut through the kerfuffle and let you know. The M416 has less horizontal recoil than the Scar L. It also has slightly less vertical recoil than the Scar L. I think that's pretty clear from a lot of people testing a lot of stuff over a lot of time. But I just wanted to make sure this patch, and it also gave me a chance to run the numbers in a new and interesting fashion. Doesn't mean it's a bad gun, but it does mean that it is certainly not better than the M416. It hasn't been buffed past the M416. Well, what about the other stuff? So we went to the range, and I won't show you clips of me on the range. I'll show you clips of me ripping people with the Scar L. We went to the range, and I can tell you that it does the same in terms of rate of fire as all the other 5.56 ARs at 60 frames per second, 0 0.096 seconds per round. At 90 frames per second, the M416, the AUG, uh, the G36C, they all get a buff. At 90 frames per second, and they do 0 0.085 seconds per round. The Scar L does not get that buff. It still fires slower than the M416. Shell velocity wise, it's slightly slower than a few of the uh, 556 ARs. It's still clocking in around about 900 meters per second. So it's also the same damage wise. The answer to the question then is it's not as good as this gun here, the M416. The gold standard in easy to fire pro noob cannon potato laces. And I wasn't expecting it to be, to be honest. But we still had to do the testing and we still had to make sure because if you don't do the testing, then you can't really say anything. Perfect. Now, we will be using uh, that methodology that Catfish pioneered to do some real testing on overall recoil patterns. And we'll get to that later. And I'm going to put them up as a spreadsheet along with all my other spreadsheets, which you can access on my Discord server. Uh, the link for my Discord server is in the description below. The, tomorrow or Friday, my time, I'm going to be drawing the uh, Red Magic Pro 6 phone giveaway. If you haven't joined that giveaway, you need to link into my Discord server. You need to join it. You need to take a screenshot of you subscribing to the channel and post it into the giveaway section of the Discord server. That phone's going in the next two days. It is a monster phone. Uh, it's 16 gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon, Triple A chip. Watch it's out. crazy good. Gaming phone with inbuilt triggers. You want it? Get in there and do that. Anyway, back to the Scar L. It's still a good gun. It still works really well. It still frakes people. And it still looks better, in my opinion, than the M416. I hate the iron sights on the Scar L. They are my least favorite iron sight iron sights in the game. I think it was Ouija the other day or maybe Not Jess connected. saying it looked like a periscope and that's a great description of it. Let's get to the next point I really wanted to make and that's recency bias. And this is one of the reasons why 
Uh, people so often come up with the whole idea of something getting buffed when it hasn't been buffed. If you're playing a game like this and you win and you're using a Scarrell, it's the same as when people keep going back to the same spots or jumping and landing in the same spots every time. There's a certain comfort level with that. You've been successful before, you think you're going to be successful there again. It's the same as when you're running a Scarrell and you start knocking people's socks off and winning games. You tend to think that it must be something to do with the weapon. It's kind of like we're not willing to give ourselves credit for just being better. Or maybe we think the weapon suits us more. I would be very hard pressed to figure out why you would use a Scar L over an M416. It has a slower rate of fire, it has worse recoil, um, and yeah, it's it just doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. But if you win a bunch of games with a Scar L as your primary AR, then odds are you're going to think that the gun's been buffed. It hasn't been buffed this patch though. And I tested a bunch of other stuff. People were telling me that the Bison had been buffed and um, that there had been changes to some of the other ARs. And I did some some superficial testing just on the numbers, like rate of fire and damage. And I couldn't find anything outside of the normal patch notes that have been buffed. If you guys want a video on that kind of stuff, I am very, very happy to do that. All you've got to do is leave a uh, bit of a thing in the comments below. Tell me that you, you know, want a video comparing the recoil patterns on all the ARs or whatever you want, and we'll hit that. We'll get to it. Let's talk about the positives of this gun, though. It's readily available everywhere. It's got a light recoil profile. It's got a reliable output, and it's got that 5.56 bullet speed, which is just the most important thing about these guns that people don't really acknowledge. It's not just that it means you have to lead the target less. Having bullet speed of 900 meters a second and in excess of that for some of the 5.56 ARs, like the Bjorg and uh, the M16, they both pop up to 930. What it means is that your rounds hit first. So this is one of the reasons why people get so flustered when they're like, oh, I'm running a UMP. The numbers on the UMP say it does 42 base damage and... Oh, and it does limb damage and all this. But if you get your shots off faster and they hit the other guy faster before his rounds hit you, the game doesn't care what his round is. It could have a million damage on it. If he's already dead, it doesn't count. And the 5.56 ARs are excellent at, say, the 20 to 30 meter range um, of starting to get the target before it gets you. Watch and out. once you get out to 75 and 100, wow, it just craps all over SMGs. And guns like the M762 hold their own uh, because they've got like 700 meters a second. It takes a while for it to get there. But their recoil profile is such that it doesn't get the same kind of ability to spray as a Scar L or an M416. Now, the Scar... I would love there to be a bigger differentiator than just recoil profiles. I would love for the 5.56 ARs to have degrees. I think if you've got more recoil, it would be nice to have the Scar L having a slightly higher damage output than the M416. Right now, though, that's not the case. And it probably won't be the case for any at any point in time in, in the mobile game because the game is based around selling skins and people are very confident and comfortable with the m416 being a noob cannon they love it they want it to be a noob cannon um and i'm not saying that as a denigration to people it's just how the game is the fact that these guns spray at extreme ranges like the dp that you can see being used there and the m4 uh, rather than bring dmrs into the meta is disappointing for me but it's a fact of life it's how things are and TPP is bad enough, but having a whole bunch of guns that go great at 150 meters while holding a trigger down and firing 40 rounds in a row, like go and try and do that on a range and watch what happens. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, I'm oh, Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join that Discord server. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please share the videos. We've got a lot more informative videos coming up. 
Uh, so stick around for those. I've got a lot of sniper stuff I still want to get out there. Um, this was disappointing. Uh, anyway, not this part. This part, you can see, working as intended. Uh, you'll see what I mean. I'm doing Eclipse YouTubers. <laughs> Don't want you to see, and uh, you'll understand what I was talking about. It was disappointing there. In just a short while. Anyway, uh, lots of content. Make sure to subscribe, but make sure to leave your comments. Talk, talk, talk. Tell me what you want. See how we go. Until next time, bye for now and stay safe on Z Battlefield. Watch out.